Hello friends! We did it! We made it! We made it to the mystery of Easter! Oh, I am so excited to be here with you today. We have been spending the last many weeks getting ready to come to the mystery of Easter. And here we are today on this glorious Sunday. Easter is here and oh, I'm so excited to be here with you. Now we've got lots of fun stuff. We've got lots of great things to tell you. We've got a great craft to do. We've got a really fun song to teach you. It's going to be such a beautiful morning or afternoon or evening, whenever you're watching this. I don't know. But this is for Easter Sunday and I am so pumped. Easter Sunday. So, friends, let's start it off with an all-time fave that I used to sing that is real fun because there's lots of fun motions with this one. So I'm going to teach you the song, then I'm going to teach you the motions, and then we're going to put it together. Are you ready? So the song goes like this. I'm all wrapped up, I'm all tied up, I'm all tangled up in Jesus. I'm all wrapped up, I'm all tied up, I'm all tangled up in God. I'm all wrapped up, I'm all tied up, I'm all tangled up in Jesus. I'm all wrapped up, tied up, tangled up in God. Oh yeah. And then you repeat it. Now there are motions to it, right? So the first one is I'm all wrapped up. So you like hold yourself like you're giving yourself a hug. I'm all wrapped up. And then you take your hands and you go like this. I'm all tied up. Whoa. So you go from here. I'm all wrapped up. I'm all tied up. Right? Crazy. And then I'm all tangled up in Jesus. So you see that? You went. I'm all wrapped up, and then you bring your hands out, I'm all tied up. It kind of feels weird, but that's totally normal. I'm all tangled up in Jesus, and then you repeat. I'm all wrapped up, I'm all tied up, I'm all tangled up in God. And then you do it, right? Now, the fun part is that when you repeat it, you get faster. So, are you ready? Okay, here we go. Together with motions, right? Pretty simple. If you're like, Mr. Jeremy, I don't remember the words yet. It's okay, rewind the video and we'll rock and roll whenever you're ready, okay? So here we are, we're gonna start this song. Do this with me. I'm all wrapped up, I'm all tied up, I'm all tangled up in Jesus. I'm all wrapped up, I'm all tied up, I'm all tangled up in God. I'm all wrapped up, I'm all tied up, I'm all Tangled up in Jesus, I'm all wrapped up, tied up, tangled up in God. Oh yeah, faster. Ready? I'm all wrapped up, I'm all tied up, I'm all tangled up in Jesus. I'm all wrapped up, I'm all tied up, I'm all tangled up in God. I'm all wrapped up, I'm all tied up, I'm all tangled up in Jesus. I'm all wrapped up, tied up, tangled up in God. Oh yeah, faster. I'm all wrapped up, I'm all tied up, I'm all tangled up in Jesus. I'm all wrapped up, I'm all tied up, I'm all tangled up in God. I'm all wrapped up, I'm all tied up, I'm all tangled up in Jesus. I'm all wrapped up, tied up, tangled up in God. Oh yeah. Even faster. Here we go. The fastest one. Here we go. Follow with me. I'm all wrapped up, I'm all tied up, I'm all tangled up in Jesus. I'm all wrapped up, I'm all tied up, I'm all tangled up in God. I'm all wrapped up, I'm all tied up, I'm all tangled up in Jesus. I'm all wrapped up, tied up, tangled up in God. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's a fun one. That one makes me feel so silly and I love it because I am wrapped up, tied up, tangled up in Jesus. And we are here. Easter is here. He is risen. He is risen indeed. And friends, I believe it is time for some crafts. So if you'd like to follow on with our craft and you don't have the materials with you right now, that's okay. Hit pause in a second and then go to the link in the description of this YouTube video and we'll have the PDF of all of the materials and instructions for the craft today so that then you can follow along with Mrs. Gabriella as she walks us through this beautiful craft. So if you want to follow along and you don't have the stuff, pause and click the link below. If not, get out your craft kit and we will get rocking and rolling. See you in just a second. Wonderful time. 
Today, in crafting time with Miss Gabriela, I have a wonderful craft prepared just for us. So we have been preparing all these weeks to learn about the life and works of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. And so, I would like you to take your Faces of Easter 7 craft kit. Also, the, material, the materials are linked below in the video. We also will be using Mr. Sketch Synthesis Scented Markers or any markers you have. And we will also be using a little bit of um, the glitter glue pens for some uh, special touches. Are you ready for this? Let's start! <laughs> So these are the materials that were inside your um, Faces of Easter 7 craft kit. And you also have a link below this video to uh, find out the materials as well. So we have this and we're going to start by using Mr. Glue Stick and um, do the front of our card. So we're going to start by gluing this pot. So it's a lovely tulip tulip uh, pot glue and then gauging it in such a way that we leave space for the tulips on top, okay? Now we're adding glue to the branches and the tulips, the paper tulips. Now we're going to write Jesus, each letter on each tulip. Once we have written um, each letter on each tulip, now we're going to paste this card inside, okay? Because we're going to be writing on the card and we're going to add some glue to it, okay? Now inside of our card, we are going to write, he was raised, just as he said, come and look at the place where he was placed, from Matthew 28, 6. So also friends, um, I have added last details like some squares to the pot and um, added details with the glitter glue pens like dew from heaven on top of the tulips and um, just a little bit of green glitter glue pen on uh, around the pot as well. Congratulations! Look at what we have made together. Our own Jesus is Risen card. Um, I encourage you to share with your family and friends and share the story of the life and works of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. As always, I would like to remind you that you are deeply loved and I hope you have a wonderful week. Welcome back! Oh yeah, let me see some of those crafts. <gasps> Oh, okay. Oh, those are great crafts. I love it. I love it so much. Wow, you guys are so good. Every time I think they can't get any better than this, you prove me wrong. These are delightful. You know what? I even think that there are some crafts from last week that uh, were, were uh, sent in. So I'm going to look at some of those photos now. Whoa! That's excellent. Oh, that's so beautiful. I love that. Oh, those are great too. Oh, hey, it's Lottie and Hollander again. Hey, I love it. Oh, these are so good. Ah, oh, these crafts are great, friends. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. If you have a picture of your craft and you want to share it with us, feel free to send it to me or Mrs. Gabriella. That's just Jeremy or Gabriella at GoodShepherdNewYork.com. And if you're okay with it, maybe we'll go to end the video next week. So, friends, we've got lots of fun stuff to do today. We've got a story to tell. We've got the mystery of Easter rocking and rolling with us. So, 
let us rock and roll into this story. Now, remembering where we were this last story, right? Jesus was up um, doing the Last Supper with all of the 12 disciples, and then one of them left, and Judas sold out for 30 pieces of silver and turned Jesus into the Roman soldiers, and then gave him a kiss on the cheek, and that's when Jesus was taken away. So, that night, when all that happened, was really, really confusing. And the next day, Jesus was taken outside the walls of the city and was crucified. And that afternoon, Jesus died. The sky grew dark. And then Jesus was taken down from the cross and buried in a cave. A great stone rolled into the opening of the cave to close it like a door. A Saturday was so quiet, you could almost hear the earth <sighs> breathing. And on Sunday, it was the women who had the courage to go to the tomb, just to be close to Jesus. They wanted to remember, even if it was sad, they wanted to remember. And when they came to the tomb, they found that that great huge stone had been rolled back, and the tomb was empty. Jesus had died on the cross, but somehow he was still with them, as he is with us, especially in the bread and the wine. Now, when you look at this photo, the crucifixion side, you know that on the other side, when you flip it around, is Easter. And so on this side, Crucifixion is there, and then on this side, it's the mystery of Easter. Now, the thing about these photos is that they're the same photo. One is on the front, and one is on the back. You can't pull them apart. They're the same thing. And that is the mystery of Easter. And that makes all the difference. So normally, stories, they just have a beginning, a middle, and an end. So if we only have this side, then the story has an end. But there's also this side too. And that's a beginning. The ending is also a beginning. And so we can't leave the story in a line. Huh. It looks more like this. Now the story can go on forever. Now I wonder what part of the story you like best. I wonder what part of the story is the most important part. You know, I wonder where you are in the story. What part of the story is about you? I wonder if there's any part of the story we can leave out and still have all the story we need. Well, my friends, this was such a delightful story, series, coming close to the mystery of Easter. We are here in Easter and it's time to celebrate and I am so thrilled to be able to celebrate with you. So I'll give you this benediction and we'll sing our doxology and then we will get to live into the joy and celebration of Easter. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord lift his face to shine upon you and give you peace. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise him all creatures here below. Praise him above ye heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. We'll see you next week. Bye.